How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm looking at a uh, beer from Twin Sales Brewing Company out in Port Moody, BC. Uh, today's beer is going to be the Straight Flexin Imperial Stout. Um, love the artwork on this one. They have pretty rad artwork on their cans, but this one in particular just really dig it. Um, yeah. Imperial Stout, uh, most of the uh, beers I've reviewed from them have been like IPAs and pale ales and stuff, double IPAs. But uh, yeah, I think I've reviewed one of their other stouts, but uh, never an Imperial Stout. So excited to try this one out. 11% alcohol by volume, 40 IBUs. Um, yeah, let's get it poured, see how it is. Pours just that motor oil color, you know, pitch, pitch black, super dark beer. Um, yeah, looks awesome. Finger of a really creamy, um, but still fluffy, uh, beautiful, like, uh, deep brown, mocha brown head. That is a very dark looking beer. Let's get an aroma. Wow. Huge, uh, roasted malts right away. Big coffee chocolate. Huge dark fruit and like licorice aromas. Yeah, getting some like molasses, brown sugar, that kind of thing. A very uh, deep, rich, intense smelling beer. There's a little bit of uh, booze in the background, but just super, super deep layers and layers of aromas coming off this. Smells absolutely awesome. All right, let's give it a uh, shot. Cheers. Yeah, that's a really well done Imperial Stout. I like that. Um, just beautiful, rich, malty characters to it. Uh, getting some uh, like chocolate coffee, like a dark chocolate, but also a slight like sweet milk chocolate in the background there. Some vanilla, a slight like, um, I want to say like, uh, it kind of reminds me of a coffee crisp bar in the background there, except not quite as sweet. Um, yeah, it's got this like wafery, grainy kind of thing. Um, a slight nuttiness, you know. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. Uh, getting a definite like dark fruit, some umami kind of flavors in the background as well. There's like this savory note. Um, reminds me of like uh, people often say like soy sauce, that kind of thing. Uh, that you sometimes get in Imperial Stouts. Uh, it kind of has that in the background and I really dig it. I think this would be something that would be fantastic to uh, marinate like fish in to uh, yeah like uh, instead of maple glazed uh, salmon like uh, straight flexing glazed salmon you know something like that. Um, yeah it's awesome stuff. I would love to see variants of this like straight flexin like with maple maybe bourbon barrel age stuff like that very rich mouthfeel which i think would uh really hold up with a bourbon barrel something like that you know it wouldn't thin out at all i mean it's a uh, rich decadent smooth whatever you want to call it you know just a really nice uh chewy kind of mouthfeel but not too heavy uh, there's a stickiness on the lips but not too much you know um just a really well balanced but super flavorful complex maybe a little too sweet imperial stout but uh, personally I love them sweet so that's a plus for me hopefully they uh, put out more um, imperial stouts in the future because this is awesome um, some more dark beer stuff like that I uh, really love their uh, dark beer profile um, yeah it really just hits my palate you know so 94 from me awesome awesome stuff definitely let me know what y'all think of straight flexing any of their other beers and until the next time cheers everybody